Like, you have these boss heroes, but um, your chances of winning in the mid to early late game are a lot higher for the Dire than they are in the ultra late game, you know? So I'm saying, yeah. sure, late, like ultra late will be okay, but it's going to be less easy for them to win than, for example, at minute 30 to 40, because I feel like at minute 30 and 40, uh, maybe not even 40, but let's say 30 to 40, um, yeah. they will be stronger than Talon. Like, yeah, this sure. is a... I feel like this is a draft specifically curated on Talon to face off against Aurora because they know that if Aurora were given the option, they will just drag this out and try and go to the late game. But mm -hmm. like you mentioned, Aurora, even though they are, their late game heroes and prowess isn't bad, it is still kind of scary to take it late against Adusa, right? That is what, what you're concerned about. And Talon have a lot of ways to make sure that Dusa gets to that critical mass. I'm particularly looking at the Ogre, the Beastmaster aura as well is going to help loads in terms of making sure whatever the Beastmaster gets. WS already sort of locking in that facet that indicates a bit more of a team-centric aura-heavy build-up. It's an early smoke from Talon. They are wrapping around. Keep in mind, you're seeing these two logos in the close That's qualifiers. You're thinking it's the grand finals. We're not even there yet. This is the lower bracket semi-finals. And the team losing here will have to bow out and will not be at Bangkok. I think this is especially painful for Aurora, knowing that there are two Thai players there who would love to be able to play on the home crowd. And Talon. You know, there's quite a bit of history between these two organizations. We're seeing the two Thai players on your screen right now. Q and Jabs, they've been at the forefront of Southeast Asia for a long time. But let's see whether they can continue this dominance up against a newly refreshed talent with Master Kuku at the helm. A little bit of blocking back and forth as three heroes on Aurora pressuring Akashi and getting the mana all the way low already. That Damn. is painful stuff. This guy is basically 10% HP. Holy smokes. <laughs> I mean, DK is solo top, but still, that's a lot of pressure. He will struggle to use his snake. Like, okay. Popping the mango to get that snake out there. Damn. Yeah, that's oh, tough. Pressure. But look at this. The wave will actually push out, which will be super good for Aurora, right? The lane is kind of mm -hmm. pushing out, so the laning position will be well positioned for the Doom. And the bottom lane seems to be a lock for Aurora. Mid lane, look at that, by the way. 7 3 into 2 0. Holy smokes! Nice. He's annihilating him so far. What the hell? Top lane. Yeah, I, look, yeah, I, cool. Mikoto is a beast, right? And I think... I, I don't know what kind of absolute monster you need to be to annihilate Mikoto in the mid lane of all people. Now, it's evening out a little bit because of some mm. of these uh, last hits coming in. But you keep in mind, Abed still has three creeps in front of him yep. that he can just farm up pretty for free. But yeah, it's going to be this ping pong and Mikoto has to be especially careful about his spell usage. Like we said, long considered to be a counter. Abed, very familiar with this hero and his opponent's hero as well. 10-4 against 6-1. 11-4, 6 He's owning, he's doubling him up! Look at this. Okay. If, okay, let's look at the CS score right now. Mm. On the yike meter from 0 to 10, how yikes is this right now? 8 okay. yikes. That's for sure. 8, eight yikes. Yikes. 8 yikes. It's yeah. 2 minutes in, my goodness. Yeah. 8 yikes. 8 yikes. Look at oh this. My... He doesn't give him a single CS, really. Dude, Abed is breathing down his neck. And if you look at Primal Oh, Beat's flag mouth, deny. Flag deny. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my flag goodness. himself. Okay. Yeah. Woo. Okay. Well, this is starting to get a little bit rough for Mikoto. He does have a way pushing into him. So, I, look, honestly, unless Mikoto really makes a big misplay in the mid lane, I don't expect any sort of solo kill, right? And then it's funny I say this because the second we look away and I'll observe whoa, it goes whoa, somewhere whoa, else, we're going to see a whoa, solo whoa, kill. Whoa. Oh. Um, oh man, hell. This is quite a bit of damage. Yeah, I mean, Abed is just giving him no quarter whatsoever. Sheesh. Okay, this mid lane, uh, Abed is uh, prime. Prime Abed right now. Yeah, let's look yeah. at the other lanes, all right? So the Beast Master is actually having quite a quite a decent lane, but the Doom also has a good lane. And look at this, the Dusa, actually. I mean, I wouldn't say struggling, but she doesn't have the best game, right? Yeah. Kuku was able to steal away the Lotus though, and I think that's especially important for a Dusa lane just because of the double-pronged healing and the mana boost that you can get. So 
I think Q, a lot of uh, work for him to do in order to try and beat back this Ogre from just spam casting Ignite on jabs. They've gotten quite a fair few levels up until this point though. I don't think Akashi will be in trouble. Meanwhile, top lane, WS and Yoakum doing an okay job. I I kind of struggle to see how the Beast and the Mueta can get a kill on any one of these uh, heroes unless Melody straight up just bosses up and tries to make a play or something like that. Yeah, exactly. Like, um, this lane should go smoothly for Aurora. They are in no fears of dying, but it's the other way around as well, right? Um, Melody doesn't have a single um, disable and DK also not one of those disabling carries, right? So yeah. it's basically just two two passive heroes farming, harassing. Um, yeah. has been the classic TA2K playstyle, no kills, just <laughs> creeps. Yeah. <laughs> oh, most people don't know this, uh, but the 2000 in his name actually is a breakdown of what his ratio is going to be from creeps to kills. So 200 mm. refers to the creeps that he wants at minute 10, and 0 refers to the kills. <laughs> just, a, just a little fun fact for you guys. Looks like there's some action Cuckoo. happening in the bot lane. Cuckoo, Cuckoo ends up going down, actually enables a kill onto Jabs. The fact that they got that kill first as well, even though Cuckoo's the one to grab it, Akashi getting that experience and able to stand up to Q, out of oh, mana whoa, completely whoa, though, whoa. and very heads up glyph. Brother. So smart from Q to get that Brother. double kill. So Jab suffers a little bit, but the Bat Rider comes out on top. Oh, this is this is great for Aurora. Why? Look, they got the kill on the Doom, of course, but this wave, it's pushing out. Look, so many creeps dying already. I mean, Cuckoo is happy, but uh, Akashi is not happy. <laughs> this lane is going to be out of his reach now. Like, if he wants to oh, walk TP up... TP top the... lane. The Primal Beast looking for a move. Onslaught Beast in. Master. Beast yeah, Master. Beastmaster's in big trouble. Oh, Run baby. down and killed off. Nicely done. It kind of caught them by surprise because Abed didn't even... I think he barely hit that level 6 and he made that move yep. ahead of time while Mikoto was busy farming. So excellent stuff from the Aurora mid laner. Yeah, this is this is uh, peak Abed right now. Um, Mikoto kind of caught up to him CS-wise. Still, he doesn't have a kill to his name or an assist. And he only has two denies while... Uh, Abed does have 90 nice Mikoto. He's just hitting level 6. Abed already like, has the 6 a long time ago. Let's see who takes the rune. Oh. Uh, Primal okay. even well, rewarded. Damn. It's kind of tough because Talon actually brought both their supports, right? Cuckoo was coming over as well, but just a bit too late and they guessed yeah. wrong. So, illusion rune, Abed. That's sweet. Into the ogre. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a nice rune. You can dispel the fire. Oh, top lane. Pugna dropping low. Oh, oh he's never going to survive. Okay. We will not know it. Now we know it. Okay, he lives. Um, that's a close one. Honestly, he shouldn't die in this lane. He needs to be yeah. uh, a bit more careful. Uh, dying in this lane is a big noob mistake. As well. yeah, he should chill a bit. DK is free farming anyways. You don't really have to risk your life too much. Um, yeah, there's also like no aggressive kills happening. Pugna probably. Fine if he focuses in, uh, focuses on getting CS and stacks on the easy cam. Just pull some some uh, camps. Look, he's even stacking now. Hard cam coming up. Both post fours, of course, are on the runes. And uh, I wouldn't say passive gameplay, but it's more like a cool, calm, and collective gameplay, right? No crazy, uh, yeah. no crazy attacks. Um, no over commitments. Jabs yeah. eating that ice ogre caster. He's gonna be Gucci on the lane now. I mean, he was before. Jokam died against Abed. Abed seems to be playmaking quite well here. Yeah, we really need to keep our eyes on this Primal Beast because he's the primary one making all these moves. One to fall right now, and he's been involved in most of those in, in, in like kind of situations. I mean, the only other one was just Q in that bot lane where he's kind of bossing up a little bit. But Mikoto, choosing to focus more on farming, he wants to propel his way towards that Diffusal Blade ASAP. He's even choosing to skip past boots, yep. like, like any sort of upgraded boot, so... Oh, a... Look at this, TA2K oh. pushing in, Abed. He wants that Beastmaster. Dude, the level he difference is like a whole him. four. Yeah, he's doubling him. They're gonna see, he's doubling him up. Oh, WS no. is... Oh, the ping. WS saw him. 
The TP is coming in on mass. They need to try and punish Abed, right. but can they stop him? That's the question. Cuckoo's yeah. even higher level yeah. than the Beastmaster right now, but Rolling Thunder Talon will punish this Primal Beast. A nice Decrepify Maladich keeping him alive for now, but there's no yeah. way you can fish your big fat beast out of this troublesome situation. Great response from Talon, and that is exactly what they need to do. Yeah, this kind of broke Abed's momentum. Look at, oh, look at bottom, by the way. Oh. Ooh, Jabs oh. with the Doom. I mean, yeah, the mana blocks everything. You can't heal, but if you're alone, it's nice damage Ooh. regardless. TA2000 coming through <laughs> and gets the kill with the brief fire. Jabs leaves it for his carry. Love to see that. And Dude. they'll be able to convert this to a top lit, to a bot tier push. Sorry. Dude, I wonder if Akashi was like, oh, I can't, uh, maybe I live. He's going away. <laughs> That's like, <laughs> nope. Night yeah. Davian coming through, taking that last hit, pushing the tower. And look at top lane, the pressure on that tower is not really existent, so they will probably be able to pressure away this tower, even Abed joining, while not even losing their top tower. This game looking good for Aurora. Yeah, and again, we're looking at the at the Beastmaster that me and you have not been convinced by at all. And he is not doing well in terms of the net worth. Cuckoo no found no. here in the tree lines. Trying to stick around to set some EXP will pay with his life for it. That wow. is rather painful. Now, WS does have the Helm, Helm Dom, mm -hmm. coming out to him right now. So maybe that's where the Beastmaster starts to amp up the farm, amp up the pressure. I'm gonna try and push this top lane now, but he needs to find a creep to dominate. Yeah, he doesn't want to get a lane creep, right? Yeah, that's a bit awkward. I'm no, wondering, I'm that. wondering, yep. Aurora are gonna death his tower, DK coming through. They don't want to give up this tower. It's almost oh, full of speed. But Mikoto's already abandoned this post. He wants to go mid instead. Oh, yeah. Getting ready for a bit of a catch there. Oh, okay. oh denies. looks like the Rolling Thunder used. They'll catch the Bat Rider. Okay, he died for that deny. Mikoto was like, you, you dare not deny my real name. But honestly, it's not too bad. The roll is used, the arcane rune is denied. I mean, the bad runner, of course. Oh, look at this skeleton army attacking. Oh. Look at this. is going to be a big fight. Skelebros. Yeah. This is going to be a big fight if they decide to defend this tower. Maybe they don't want to defend it, but if they want to defend it, they have to bring a lot of heroes, for sure. Yeah. Abed has kind of slowed his roll a little bit ever since that bit of an overdive. I think, I don't think it was wrong of him to try that play because he really wanted to extend the advantage, but you know, it, it, clearly he's just kind of focusing a bit more on farming, wants to get that blade mail before he continues going on here. Looks no. like there's a bit of a focus for both teams on this top lane. Like yeah. you mentioned, Aurora don't want to give this up for free. And Talon are having a hard time pushing into it, honestly. Yeah, I mean, these skeletons are cute and all, but DK just has to breathe fire and hit them one time with his Splash Dragon and they're dead, right? So he cannot just yeah. send those summons in there. They will die instantly. Look yeah, at this, literally, look, to, to his, yep, yep. with look the armor, and he even kills the ball while he's at it. Look at this, though, the Pango coming through with the Diffusal Blade. The roll this is the will timing. be up soonish. It is daytime. Can they connect on the Dragon Knight? Nice dead shot, pulling him back in. Mikoto gets stunned, can't roll up just yet. They'll actually doom up the Beastmaster, and Abed will focus him down. This is an easy pulverize into a kill. Cuckoo's gonna try and come in for the stun, but if you played Ogre, you know that the Primal Beast just wrecks you with the pulverize. You can't get the animation off in time. The yep. Beastmaster will go down. They do manage to trade up for the Bat Rider, but that wasn't their initial target. They wanted TA2000, and they leave with two heroes down. Yep, so what they are trading here right now is um, one offlaner dying, Beastmaster dying, and the Doom going on cooldown. Um, and the Doom's are Oh, wait, what? Mikoto. No. Oh, no the dead shot a bit too slow. Abed no and Jack way. stabbed him up and beat down their fellow longtime Southeast Asia veteran. My goodness. Dude. Uh... That's ultimate anime betrayal. Who who remembers the time when it was Talon Mikoto with jabs and then like, and then now he's tag teaming up with a new mid laner to absolutely obliterate you. That's cold, man. It's truly cold, but it looks like jabs are had here. I mean, before that killer Mikoto, I would have said that's that's an okayish exchange because the Dusa was farming a lot during yeah. that that fight on top lane. But now with the Mikoto kill on top, dude, Aurora is cruising. 3K ahead. Yeah, and you're talking about the Dusa farming. It's not even like she's farming so much, but now Abed 
again, sticking his head a bit too far deep into the opponent territory. Maladich gonna try and life drain him up, but Yoakum there with a perfect heal and a decrap and a save. This guy has been amazing on his position 5 performances so far. He's always in the right place, always ready to help his teammates, and once again, he bails Abed out. Now, he might pave his life for it because Mikoto's just gonna go for a straight on roll. Dead shot slightly off the mark. Do they have more magic damage? Okay, with the stun, a multicast will get the job done. Cuckoo will claim that kill. And Aurora lose that pause 5, but again, that's a rolling thunder for a pause 5. Now you can enjoy 20 seconds apiece. 20? Yeah, it's even more. It's more. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, that. I'm being generally, like it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Melody, like this guy, has been pesky, so killing him, I mean, just do it. Some big fat ancient stacks here. Let's see who farms them. All three cores of Aurora could theoretically farm them. Uh, I feel like DK would like to farm them the most, but honestly, yeah. even Primal can take it. Like him getting an early BKB amplifies their timing by a lot. Wisdom Rune spawning, K2K took it. Oh, Haste Rune for the Primal. That's a juicy one, you know? This hero with a, with a Haste Rune. Uh, it's like a local, kill, right? Local. That's basically a kill. Yeah. yeah, it's like, I don't know. If you just use that Haste Rune, uh, you don't even care about the boss slow anymore. You don't care about the ignite slow anymore. Mm -hmm. You could just outrun the spells of Muerta, right? Hitting a dead shot on a haste, the primal beast, kind of impossible. This haste can win a team fight on its own. It's always the, this thing about these power runes. They can yeah. win team fights alone because it's kind of like an item, right? Imagine yeah. you have an item that gives you haste for 25 seconds. Insane. That's kind of busted. That's kind yeah. of busted. Awesome. That's why they need to be hidden behind RNG and luck. But exactly. now a smoke up Luck from Aurora, trying to take advantage. There isn't really a crazy item timing that they just hit other than Black Blink, but that should be enough for them to get a yeah, kill. Yeah, it's enough already, the Doom. Exactly. Looking for WS. Looks like a Doom, looks like a Lasso, and that's exactly what will happen. Dragged back in in front of his little pets. Where you gonna go, buddy? The charge in to finish the job. Beastmaster is no king of this primal beast. Just drive by, watch him die. That's kind of tough. WS will go down and it's a dominating kill streak for Jabs. It talked about this divvy up between the premier offlaners of this patch. The Beastmaster just hasn't really done much. And take a look at where he is in terms of the net worth. He's only 1k yep. ahead of the Q Batrider at this point. Yeah, like this this beast got absolutely dumpstered in. Not gonna lie, I think when we met today at 3.30 or no, 4.30 in the morning, <laughs> uh, I think I was saying like, huh, let's see if we see this Beastmaster again today. Because yesterday, I think we only saw it lose. Yeah, um, it wasn't It wasn't very inspiring. Exactly. So, now today we see this Beast. <laughs> he keeps on losing. Come on, bros. Yeah. Stop picking this shit. I mean, also, I think apart from picking it, it's like you're picking it into a Doom. You're picking it into it heroes that are already, yeah, already good against it. The Primal Beast doesn't really care about you. The Bat Rider doesn't... You, you know, like, none of these things really work out in your favor. It's not like you're against a support that's particularly weak to summons or anything. So, I, I don't really get the intention, but maybe Talon, they have a big brain sort of a uh, strat cooking up. We've yet to see it. Maybe there's a timing they're looking to hit. For now, they're hitting the Tier 1 tower. They found Q. Yokum looking for a dead shot. Perfectly landed. Gets good Mikoto one. that kill. Okay, that's a good, good play. They get the tower as well. But Primal Farming, DK Farming, and they will have a nasty triple BKB timing. Look at this, Japs already has the BKB. If we look at the Primal, the, he's also very close to the BKB. And the DK, if I am correct, uh, if I'm not mistaken, is also going for that BKB. Yeah, look at this no. guy, he needs 1.4k. And the DK, oh, he, he actually doesn't want a BKB, he wants to go with the Sanchi Yasha. I mean, that's T2000. fair. Farm mode, man. That's, that's, exactly, that's, that's exactly, cool. exactly, exactly. He's like uh, BKB uh, only improves my farm rate by um, five percent. Uh, the five percent. I'm doing the math on my spreadsheet. Okay, I'm trying yeah. to keep two hundred creep five uh, if every five minutes. It's not happening. Yeah, awesome. he's like yep, Senshin Yasha increases my farm rate by at least fifteen percent. Gotta yeah. go with the Senshin Yasha. Let's go. Yeah. He's like, look. Aurora, you guys wanna you guys wanna qualify for Bangkok, right? You wanna play in front of you? Just let me farm. Okay, just shut up, let me farm. Oh. That's how we're gonna That's play cool. Q. Getting a toast. What's no, 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 no. Okay. Quick reactions from Q, which is uh, sorry, quick reactions from Yokum. So used to Q being the one playing the Moeta, but have the helm of the Overlord now. Big granite golem slapping away at these creatures. This animation with <laughs> the so attack funny. speed from Wild Hunt, and he's like, bam! Uh, 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 just absolutely obliterating. Uh, the thing this is, like a, 
Dude, this looks <laughs> like a Mike Tyson punch. Here. Bam! Holy smokes. Bam. Huh? Didn't get him in the window, unfortunately. Yeah, true, true. But it's okay. I think if you're like close to retirement age, you shouldn't <laughs> box anymore. True, <laughs> okay. Well, now we'll see. Uh, this uh, the rush will be attacked. Yeah. Or not. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Oh, okay. <laughs> what was go. that? Was that like like were they so undecided? Like, like yeah, they were like, undecided. Eh, oh, I don't know. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. No. Smoke up though from Aurora, no. ready to try and contest. The scan comes no. through. It Prime lands. Is not there though. No. Yeah, Talon knows that this is happening. The oh, Q, ready for a try and catch. Ooh. Pulling back on the Ogre Magi. The Ward in a very very good position. The decrep before. And Melody will be completely oh. fine. They're trying to find a Doom Cuckoo, buying a lot of time. Melody goes down for one for one for now. Abed continuing the chase on Talon, need to try and full retreat. Yeah, have to give up back. the supports. Hold as back. Tango able to TP out. That could Dude. have been a lot worse for them, to be honest. Dude, Melody is a god. He yeah. forced two ults, and the fight is over at that point, right? They needed yeah. to use the roar and the roll on the Pagna. They barely killed him. And what do you do after that? You just run away. Meanwhile, Dusa was also finishing her butterflies, so she wasn't really in position to help out. And uh, this is kind of the thing with this Pagna. If you get the Pango, right? You can't really kill him. Your ult yeah. doesn't do anything. Yeah. I don't know. And if you. here's the thing, right? Like the Medusa isn't threatening the Pagna. The Pango no. isn't threatening the Pagna. Neither is your beast, but who is who's killing it? Like who yeah. who's gonna do it? Like what? Are you waiting for your 35 minute nullifier timing. Got a bit of action well, going on there. Looks maybe. like the caught Arbet. He has that He's fresh BKB TKB. though. Still holding on to it, biding his time. That's what's Dude. been impressive about Aurora so far. I think Jabs had that BKB in the earlier fight, but he chose to hang on to it. Still has that nine second charge. Aurora yep. understand that there's no threat at all to them at the moment. Yeah, he's just baiting them in. He's like, ah, yeah, come, attack me, attack me, attack me. Come in even deeper. It didn't work out there. But he saved his BKB. Oh, Jabs attacking for the two. Doesn't find anyone though. Let's look at this. He's going for the classic new build with the Saint Yasha on Doom. No Shiva, no Blink. Nope. He wants the Saint Yasha. Status rest, movement speed, <laughs> just general strength tankings. Everyone's getting a Sanjin Yasha these days. If you're not getting Sanjin Yasha, you're your pleb. You heard it here first. Look at all these yeah, probes. Just non stop building. It's broken. It's broken. 25% status rest. This is like Dota 1 all over, right? I don't know <laughs> if you played back then, but back then, everyone bought Saint Yasha. It was. Trash, but still everyone bought it because it's cool, right? It's a cool yeah. two uh, Japanese swords. Uh, I gotta buy that. So. <laughs> true, <laughs> true, true. Buy it for the aesthetics, not even for the gameplay, right? You just. But now, of course, yeah. uh, Dota has changed quite a bit. Everyone's just looking for the mechanic to abuse, and I think people always people know that status res, res is just so disgusting. Absolutely. I I don't know if you remember. But there was a tiny patch where um, Tiny has uh, status res and then yeah. he bought Satanic and Saint Yasha and he was yeah, I remember. I know, unstunnable. Unstunnable. Oh, what is this? Tier 2000. Uh -huh. Yoakum, not very unstunnable though. We'll just get trampled and onslaughted down. Very nicely done. Definitely he, oh, they stunnable. stunned him so hard. They stunned him absolutely. And they stunned keeping him for 30 it going. Minutes, 30 seconds. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he's so stunned, he, he can't. he's not alive right now. No, you can't even breathe. I mean, yeah. if, if you're like, you know, just stunned, you will die actually, right? Because you can't breathe anymore, technically True. speaking. Yeah, if we're getting medical with it. Thank you, Dr. No. JM. No problem. No problem. Okay, so Look what's your this. diagnosis Momentum. for Talon right now? Like, what do they need? What's the medicine that they can take to try and reverse this situation? Because the game feels like it, it isn't really in their control. We no, talked about not. their timing being a bit later, but they... I mean, the Beastmaster hasn't really panned out. He's kind of no. not really getting along. No, well, what what do they the need? Game. What's the what's the antidote here? Butterfly and Dosa. Yeah. Like, Dosa, two item timing. And this is what they are currently aiming at. And then, what they need to do is they need to find the Pugna before he's able to put Decrypify on himself or a teammate and put the ward down, right? That's what they have to do. Kill the Pugna and get uh, a favorable engagement with the Butterfly um, timing on the Dosa. Problem okay. is, right now there's an Aegis on the TA to KDK, so they kind of want to wait out that Aegis, right? Okay. So they will so probably farm two more, min uh, two more minutes, get the Butterfly on the Dusa, maybe get a Crystallis on top, then smoke up, get me maybe a Blink Dagger on the um, Beast and on the Pango, and then just use these two Blink Stunners to get a good stun on a Pogna uh, or something similar, and just burst that target, follow up with the Dusa ulti. 
That's a bit reassuring because at least one part of that plan is ticked off, right? The Dusa already finished the Butterfly, but because of this delay with the Aegis, I guess now she's looking at a second item, and it's not going to be the Crystalis. It's actually the Aghanim Scepter that Akashi is eyeing up on the Medusa. Yep. It is good into the BKBs, and it also gives her this uh, oh, lockdown, right? Um, usually mm -hmm. a problem for Dusa, she cannot really lock down enemies on her own, so yeah. she needs some help. But <laughs> this help is not really coming, so he's like, ah, gotta do that work myself, buy that axe cool. myself. And it Akashi is Akashi sighing thing. loudly oh. into his, his into his team speak, like, man, oh, so like, man I need to do everything, toxic. please. Yeah. You know, no, I mean. It is how it is. They have not been able to connect their damage with their disables very well. It's always a sign of a team that's struggling if they cannot connect their damage dealers and their disables. Speaking of disables, uh, the WS Beastmaster is not going to be able to blink raw anything because he's going for BKB first. And newsflash, he's still kind of poor. He's not really doing well net worth wise and he hasn't really focused much on farming. In fact, his axes are only at level 2. So. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, this Beastmaster is looking uh, cold. Not the good yeah. cold, it's looking yeah. like, you know... Like, like cold, like, so the like cold this BKB like when period. it's painful, like the weather. Exactly. So the problem with... Oh, that's... A, oh. His problem is also, I mean, of course he has the BKB, but he will just die to the DK hitting him. Yeah. Uh, and the DK will just slaughter him. And the Doom doesn't really care about the BKB. The Primal also doesn't really care about the BKB. So what really is it doing here, right? Yeah. I mean, some trample damage is, is... I mean, it's just some random AoE damage that's not going to hit him. But all those wolves will still pierce it, right? And the, the, the weird thing him. is, I, I think they're assuming that the Pugna is going to decrep them. So they're just going to pop the BKB, keep chasing whoever they're trying to hunt down. But that hasn't been the case. Every single fight, Melody just decreps no. himself. And then they're like roaring him. They're like, they're like, you know, rolling, thundering him. Nothing rolling happens him, because yep. he's decrep. Like it's, you need, what you need is a nullifier, yeah. which you don't have the gold for right now. Yeah. Or a blink, or a blink. You could buy a blink yeah. and just, yeah. bam, Catch him jump before on he him, roar him decreps. before he gets the chance. Exactly, exactly. But, I mean... BKB, it's always a solid choice. Like, it's never, it's, it's not great. Here, though. But let's see what happens now. Um, the Aegis uh, ran out quite some time ago. Um, they finished the four stuff on uh, the Muerta. Yeah, that's something. They got the blink on the Pango. I mean, that has been a case for quite some time. They're okay, gonna he's finish finishing the up the, on the Pango. Yeah. And th exactly, exactly. And then they might finish up the BKB on the Beast. Yeah, let's go, let's go. With that axe yeah. on Mikoro, it's coming through. Time they want to attack. Dusa also finished yeah. the Aghanims. That's juicy. That's a juicy timing. They're uh, not ahead, but this is a good timing. If they can strike okay. now, they will This come back. will be the ultimate stress test. Whether they can kill Abed on that Primal Beast. He's trying to find the Haste Rune, gets rooted up. Where's the backup? Melody on the high ground. Perfect position from this partner starting the drain. And you can't kill Abed! He's a bit too strong. We talked about needing to find the partner. He just gave the partner the perfect team fight of his life. Easy Doom onto the Deusa, no help at all. And with the Rolling Thunder already expanded, Cuckoo can do nothing but TP away as his team falls all around him. The only other person to survive is the Pango, and that was just as bad of a fight as you could ask for. Yeah, I mean, you can look at this uh, this diamond under the Dusa icon on top. What do you see? <laughs> oh, nice, nice, uh, nice stone gaze, buddy. Nice stone gaze. Didn't get to press yep. it, huh? Because of the doom. He didn't get to press it because of the doom. Exactly. This is always how it goes. If the Dusa is doomed before the stone gaze. Good fight for the Doom. If it's the other way around, good fight for Dusa. Look, in this situation, the Dusa got outplayed. It's simple as that. The Doom outplayed him. Jabs just showed that he's the big boss of the SEA, re SEA region right now. And this, I mean, it's not the death of the Radiant lineup. But this is the it's first close. of maybe close. two blows that it will be enough. He's yeah. also... And Uh, I'm just looking at everybody, like, so I'm really just having a glance at the Aurora lineup, and I do not know yes. who they killed. I, I don't know <laughs> what compelled them to look at Abed, 2.7k HP, mm. and close to 35 armor, not even popping the uproar yet, 
and they're like, yeah, we're Let's gonna kill him. Guy. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna Athos, and all of us are gonna show on the low ground, so yep. Jabs can just doom whichever one of us he wants. Very yep. generous of talent to do that. Hmm, that's true. And, I mean, maybe it could have worked if Melody wasn't in position, but his positioning was godlike, right? He was yeah. there on that high ground, was able to decupify, heal, and get Arbet, like, that half a second that he needed to pop the BKB, right? Beautifully executed yeah. for Melody. That's uh, something we also have to uh, admit that the counter play was just immaculate, right? Yeah, could have that move could have worked from Aurora, but Melody too good of a position, and uh, the Dusa also quite uh, like a bit slow on her ult, right? If she yeah. wants to pop that ult there, maybe it can work. Maybe the ult is is even the important chain stun they need, so Abbott cannot use his um, his BKB. It's well, everything just a bit too slow. But yeah. now, also worth mentioning yeah. that Abed went for the talent that dispels himself when he activates up So even when they yeah. had Atos, even when they, you know, had had some slows or whatever on him, he could have at any point in time dispelled himself, which he used well. And we've been talking about this time and time again. The key difference maker for supports is their positioning. We'll see whether Melody is able to pull off a nice save again as the smoke is up from Talon. Mm. Only Abed showing himself. Surely Talon had PTSD from trying to focus on this primal beast. The Ignites are going to reveal their position. Abed is completely fine here though. Dispelling off that Venomous Volley from the Illusions. They don't see anyone on Talon, but Aurora still getting ready. They kill the Korea of Akashi and they're fully focusing down to Deuce like Glimmer, keeping her safe for now. She's fine, but the Lasso starting to pull her away. Mikono can't get a single target. They're trying to focus down Melody, but he's completely fine. Meanwhile, your Deuce is gone. All this just for a partner who stays at full HP again and again, Malady foils them. And the Roche is yeah. enough, but they can get it in just about one second. Jabs. Yeah. Oh, oh no. It he just won. Did he see no. it or did he keep you out? No. I, I mean, <laughs> it doesn't matter. They're just going to go down. Roche will yeah, come regardless. But what a yeah. fight from Aurora again. Funny as heck. Honestly, this Dusa was not allowed to cast a single spell. It's crazy. They just chain disabled him. Aurora didn't have a single four staff or any. Uh, sorry, uh, Mikoto uh, didn't have any help like available. The Muata didn't really manage to use her four staff. Oga Magi. I mean, he pressed the Glimmer Cape on her, but they did have the Sentry yeah. after all. I don't know. They just put every spell into that Dusa. There seems to be nothing happening for Talon. I don't know. Like, yeah, the question is who on Talon is doing damage, right? The WS no went for idea. a bit more of a sort of team-oriented build. Mikoto's no. trying to scale himself as well, but he kind of just has been routed by Abed at every turn. Talon, no. I, I do want to say that I think that smoke move, that was the right thing to do, right? Group out around the Roche Pit, try and get a pick off, and then get yourself an advantage that way. But the reality is they don't have the catch and the damage and the burst that they need. Yep. Kuku tried his best with the Glimmer Cape and the saves on the Dusa, but Aurora, they are just too strong at the moment with 17k gold lead. Yeah, I mean, if you look at these heroes, come on, bro. The DK out farming the Dusa by 3.5k, the Primal out farming the Pango by 4k, and the Doom out farming the, Be the Beastmaster by 4k as well. Beastmaster, oh. holy shit. Bosku got the shard, but Jokem paid in blood. Yeah. Or whatever. Moetha just kind of bleeds out. I don't know whether it's blood because you know she doesn't care yeah, about oh, but... ghost blood. Ghost blood, ghost essence. essence. I don't yeah, sure, essence. let's go with that. Uh 4v5 defense on the high ground, Roche Banner, Nether Ward right there. Looking for a oh, lasso. Yeah. Grab Doom? the Medusa. Doom she the Medusa. Snake hit chopped off. All talent can do is watch. No buy. No buy. There is still a tier 2 up top, so they cannot go for the Mega Creeps yet. But they could maybe poke the throne if yeah. they notice that Dusa has no buyback. I it mean, there's nothing play. stopping them from trying just to push the issue now, right? They are basically 4v5. Even with the Dusa around, they weren't very worried about her damage threat anyway. All Talon can do is poke and prod, try their best. Mikoto winding up the Rolling Thunder to try and scare them away. Seems like that's going to be enough. Aurora will respect the potential okay. buyback and back up and clear out the remaining tier 2 instead. Yeah, I mean, it is the safe way to play this. And we're watching Aurora after all, right? So, um, I mean, it's kind of clear what they're preferring, right? The safe way, the calm way. 
Uh, the no throwing way of playing Dota 2, which is, to be honest, most of the times the better way. This is kind of a very clear discipline difference that we're seeing from Aurora, where yesterday there were some moments where they felt unshaky, felt unsure, weren't entirely convinced that coming into today they would be able to step it up, but this is a different Aurora, right? This is an Aurora that knows their timings, are pushing the issues. Abed just woke up today ready to party and it's showing right now. Talon, they are a bit... They kind of got slapped out of this game from what feels like the draft. We weren't very satisfied with the Dusa first pick. We weren't very satisfied with the Beastmaster last pick. And, you know, I think our concerns are justified based on what we see right now. Yeah. I mean, Dusa on 9, you can't do this, but... There needs to be something coming from your teammates, right? This Pango had decent impact, but the Primal out-impacted him by a lot. And the Beast, uh, he shit the bed. What can you do? Let's look at the smoke, though, now. Last chance, probably. Yeah. Trying for a wraparound move. They know they need to catch the Pugna. And the wards don't cover the location for now. This is a big wrap. But can they find Melody? That's the big question. Rolling Thunder, Mikoto coming in, looking for a target. Straight out to the Pugna. But Melody has a BKB? He is fine! Aurora, they're just gonna easily turn this fight around. They've already killed off Cuckoo, controlling the Medusa. And Melody continues to live. The Pause 5 Pugna with a BKB foils their plans. They didn't see it GG. coming. GG oh, is called man. Talon. Tap out. And really, they have no choice. That was dominant. That was truly dominant. There's nothing else to say. I was kind of hyped for Talon before this series, but man, they got exposed. Yeah, that was that was rough. I look, I think I just feel like that's not enough. And we have seen it times and times before that if you play only against one hero who's really pressuring you like a lion, you just jump him as the Storm Spirit, right? Storm will jump the lion, kill the lion, and then who's left to, to do anything against him, right? And we're ignoring all the other heroes. We're ignoring the DK, the Beast and stuff, right? I just feel Aurora has a super solid draft here. Well, Talon kind of drafted themselves in a corner with this Shadow Fiend plus Monkey Dude, opener. Yeah, it's a bit awkward. The second the monkey came out, we've seen it happen in the drafts within the past two days before. When you're picking your mid laner completely blind, you're kind of setting yourself up. I'll and Abed, you gave him the last pick, and this dude, perhaps one of the most prolific modern Storm players other than maybe GPK, says, pick me the damn Storm. Like, I'm going to crush this guy, right? That is... That has got to be scary, especially since this is the same repeated scenario from game number one, where they tried to blind pick the Mikoto hero. It got countered in lane by the Primal Beast. The Pango just didn't really have any impact in the game. And now Talon, they're banking all their chances for Bangkok on this last draft here. Heavy physical damage, a limited amount of control, and a dream to try and scale up against what Aurora have. This is potentially the last game in the lo uh, loser's bracket semifinals here. And Aurora, one game away from potentially moving on. Well, at least smoke up from them. Let's see. It is going to be a 2 2 split. If anything but a 2 2 split, I will eat my words. Okay. Well, nothing for you to eat right now, JM. Maybe a couple yeah, more hours until breakfast comes. But yeah, Easy. Aurora, not going to be in much trouble. Talon will still try uh, the funky business, though. Oh, that's true. Yeah, funky business. This. They are going to at least block the creep wave. Mm -hmm. Oh, Bosco! there to meet them. Bosco! Okay. The grenade. This is some plays. Oh, the march. The Maladich. Yeah, oh, uh, they can just kind of run down. Yeah. Uh, do you really want to skill stun? No, I guess you'll just give Maladich the death. WS, an early kill. Nicely done. Talon, they'll Solid. get themselves an early advantage for the Bristleback. Solid. Solid. Um, okay, so let's take this break. And uh, I, I gotta ask you, what's your favorite name? for the bracket that's not the upper bracket, right? There's like different names for it, right? Which is your favorite, uh, personally? Is there, is there different names? What are the names that you've heard? There's loser's bracket. This is like highly offensive. Then there's no, lower I, bracket. No, I accidentally, here's the thing. I always make the mistake, and people always call me out for this. Always make the mistake of saying loser's bracket. <laughs> when, when I mean, because in my mind, I think LB, right? Albeit, and I don't think, yeah. I don't know why it doesn't come to me that it's lower. It's mm. just lower. It's not loser. But to be fair, they have, they have lost, right? Yeah, so they are, 
losers. But I look, I'm not trying to flame. I just uh, okay, have okay. short term memory. Okay, okay. <laughs> I realized I replayed my words in my head. I'm like, damn, I'm, I'm being a little bit of a piece of shit. Low key hating. Low, low key, key hating. hating. Low key hating. But nothing but love for these two yeah. teams, of course. I mean, I think, at least for me, it's always fun to see these guys succeed. I just kind of hope that. You know, through these close qualifiers, whichever team ends up taking it, they can kind of boss up enough to stand up against international competition. Because a lot of the times when we in these close qualifiers, we see the Southeast Asian teams, maybe the one that eventually wins. Like they pop off, they look great. And then when they start playing against these other teams from other regions, then they start to flounder. They lose a bit of their confidence. And, yeah. and you know, it's been a while since Southeast Asian Dota has looked good. I'll just put it that way. That is truly the case, but uh, I mean, not gonna lie, they still gotta go through Boom and Kukuis before they go to the Grand Final or to That's the team. That's so crazy that so, uh, is in the upper bracket. Dude. That's insane. Yeah. Kukuis performed better than either Aurora or Talon, guaranteed. Yeah. That's insane. Like, it's actually insane, but let's go back to the game. Let's see yeah. what's happening on this top lane. Akashi and Kuku have an a splendid time. Beastmaster, on the other hand, by the way, went for the beast mode facet. He is not gonna choose the dominator focus, um, like summon build. He is gonna go with the axis. Probably gonna go with something like eggs, blink, BKB, greedy build. I like it though. Together with a tinker, it's a nasty AOE magic damage combination, right? Yeah. It's the robots, it's the drums. You know, there's a lot of stuff happening on the screen, and I love it. Yeah. Robot dance party, put the drums on, let them hit the beat. That's crazy. Robot DJ. Exactly. Uh, also, exactly. not really sure why you're confused about this build. This is jabs we're talking about here, like as if he would true, go a punch. True. Please be for real. Yeah, this is the this is the jabby jabby style. This I mean, jabby style. maybe he goes for the giant, but no, 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 no. He doesn't go for the map. It's blink nah. BKB X, right? It's the yeah. classic. Yeah, the classic. This. Okay, talk me through. Um, okay, before we get there, I just want to say really? that look at the Monkey King denies, man, Mikoto. Kind of the. Kind of doing it here on the Monkey King. But yeah, I did want to ask you about the Kuku Naga Siren because this is a hero that is basically perpetually banned, right? Yes. What exactly do you think the value of it this game is and why do you think it, you know, why do you bottom, think Bottom, 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 WS, diving. Uh, oh, 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 nice. Oh, last little close okay. break. Dies, Joker will get it, but he no, dies. No, auto attack okay. from the creep. Ooh. Okay. Sheesh. He got the XP on DK, which is totally fine. For Aurora, this heavy tower diving actually benefited the DK. Why? Because he got the solo XP for the Lion, right? While the yeah. kill on Tinker was shared. TA2000 saying thank you very much. Yeah. It's like, thank you for dying so I get the solo XP for the Lion. <laughs> no, that's truly how it is because he will get oh, things early now. Abed, under threat from Mikoto, but a nice jump in from Q oh. to punish Mikoto for his over-aggression. Abed gets the jump oh, again. That is classic. painful stuff. Every yeah, mid laner classic. knows this pain, man. Yeah, you were dominating your enemy. You're like, oh yeah, I'm crushing him. I see him driven before me and I hear the lamentation of his woman. Um, yeah, and then you overdive. Some support TPs in, you die, and the whole advantage is gone. Yep, yep. Classic Abed Storm. I think yeah, he will get denied the... Five. Yeah. I mean, Koto has a creep wave that he come back to, so he's not missing sure. a lot, a lot. Hey, he's not behind, and... but he's even up again. Oh, Yoakum. Yoakum denying the bounty rune is pretty huge, though. Yep, that's actually important. He's very low mana right now. He also doesn't really have a refill in sight. So either he will play low mana or he goes base. He probably goes low mana play. Or he goes two clarities on the courier that are ferried to him right now and just AFK regens for a little bit. Okay, right, that's fine. That's fine. Grab some plane. Oh, that's a triple raise moment. Certified okay. triple raise moment, but... Huh? He's still kind of, fine, uh, man. Yeah, he's, he's a bit fine. scared of the follow-up, right? Q can come yeah. in and do this cookie this out. The boar. The boar. The okay. boar. Dude, Jax is a beast. Honestly, I don't know why, but this Beastmaster is looking 10 times as good as the last Beastmasters we watched. <laughs> Maybe it's because... Oh, okay. of the... Dude, you say that know. and I'm the hater. I'm the hater between us. That's crazy. I, I don't know, but this Jax beast, he's popping off. Like, his build yeah. is good. Like, maybe it's also about Q. Maybe his Snapfire is just too good. Maybe it's Cuckoo's mistake also. Maybe Cuckoo is just not playing well. I don't know. But some of this beast is looking mighty fine. Okay, look, let's just let's just reserve our judgment first because it is six minutes into the game. The beast could end up looking like shit. The beast could end up looking amazing. <laughs> Still remains to be seen. For now, six minute power rune. Abed, yeah. like you mentioned, has been though. playing on low mana yeah. for what feels like forever. And 
Talon bringing both the bots in. Rune. It's gonna be a bot oh, rune. 80 rune. 80 rune. And That's juicy. Yeah, Mikoto will uh -huh, have the uh -huh, uh -huh. advantage there. Dude, can he can he use this? Can he use this to crush the tight lane? This is so funny. Uh -huh. He's the he's uh -huh. look at him. He's Storm he's five. a Storm AD five. rune with a tango looking for this stack. It's huge. Starting yeah. to punch away onto Q. No one can help him here. Q he will go that down. Chest. Boundless. Last auto attack. The lingering damage from the orb of corrosion. Uh -huh. And like you mentioned, he can steal this stack. Just a primal spring on top of it. Enough. Okay. Meanwhile, jabs on the That's top lane solo. being controlled. The Melody will be here to help him out. And Akashi didn't really have a follow up anyway. Nope. What about the stack? How oh, Storm getting a refill? Yeah. It's like, oh, thank God he set I up for it. Out. Storm, he's gonna be in big trouble. Mikoto going oh. to jump on five. him. He's still five. We don't see it. Down. He can't zip away. He's gonna oh. go down. Oh, Q Ball's gonna play. get killed again. Oh Dude, my this God, was so much smarter. Mikoto, we thought he was gonna stay here and farm the stack, but instead no. he just stays in the tree line, waits Damn. for the storm to come back, and gets Damn. a double kill for himself. He's a genius, holy. Okay, so Mikoto is saying, I will not let my team lose. I am going to the next round. I don't care what you're doing. I will will my team into a victory right here. Yeah. Holy smokes. Yeah, he, he, he'll win. He'll win. He doesn't care about all of you. He's the one going to drive the tempo. We were worried about the monkey pick. We were worried about the Arbet last pick, Storm Spirit. Take a look at the Arbet net worth. My goodness, this looks yeah. miserable. Holy, did you just see that? He missed two last hits on the tower. Yeah, what the hell? Arbet is shook. Arbet. Oh, Arbet, He's shook. please. No, Arbet, you gotta, you, you gotta do this for the squad. They, say they last picked you, your Storm Spirit, buddy. You, get, you can't let this go to a game three. 8 minute power room coming out, but a dive in the bot lane. Whoa, whoa, Here comes whoa, Melody whoa. to try and help TA2000, but he's surrounded by four members of Talon. An easy pickup on the Dragonite. And Jabs through. looking for a follow up, going onto Mikoto. Starting to slice up on the monkey, but a nice Requiem from Akashi covering his mid laner. Jabs still trying to finish the job, but a nice bonus strike. Oh, the stun from Yokum stops the cookie from coming through, and the mischief dodge on the scatter blast. It's perfect. Talon, no way. they are coming alive here in this bot lane, and you can't no even way. cut the tree down. Mikoto gives them the vision, and a double kill for Akashi. Perfect chain of events for Talon. Dude, this Mikoto monkey is solo winning the game, kind of. Holy. It's insane. He's making so much space. He's killing people left, right, and center. Like amplifying his own teammates' ability to perform. Like the Beastmaster TV then died. Now the SF is free to go on top lane again. And this, this lineup for Aurora's right now not working out. This monkey is just out tempoing them, right? The Tinker yeah. is not ready yet. No ulti. Snapfire, not ready yet. No ulti. And meanwhile, the monkey is just popping off. This game. It's 3k lead before the Aurora supports even get their ults, right? This is some insane tempo he's bringing into this game. We looked at the draft, we saw the monkey pick, and we said, look, he's picking it blind, he is going to get countered in lane, it's gonna be rough, it's gonna be a repeat of game number one, but Mikoto says, absolutely not, you are not familiar with my game. We said the monkey needed to make tempo with the lion and that is exactly what they're doing in fact that's the only thing they've done gathered a 3k gold leaf for talent now all the cores are farming very happily and aurora who usually are the ones kind of in the driver's seat control you know happy taking a chill pill they've got to be feeling a bit stressed now because they're trying to farm but they're just getting collapsed upon and the sf is ramping up big time yeah like, at the start of the game, the Beastmaster was fine into the SF, right? I feel like just three minutes ago, it was 50-50 farm-wise. But in the last four to five minutes, or let's, let's say four minutes, the SF pumped his net worth up to 5.2k. Well, the Beastmaster didn't really gain, like, any significant amount of gold. Just because it tp bottom, died, and uh, because of those supports trying to help Storm on mid lane, this also fucked with the Beastmaster, right? Yeah, Melody trying Damn. to prevent this tower ends up going down again. This Tinker pick might have worked against their previous opponents, but it's not going to be so easy. It feels like Talon had a really solid plan coming into this game since the start. We saw Cuckoo delay his arrival to the top lane just to punish Maladich, and Maladich yeah. has just died again and again on this Tinker. They are exploiting him fully. Yep. He finally got the six, but... Man, it's 3k lead already. This is some heavy uh, tinker abuse coming through, and Bosku is like 
We were kind of like up in the air how good his Naga is gonna be, but so far his uh, his role in this game has been impeccable. Yeah, I think the main problem is that Aurora. We were looking at their draft and we say. Look, there's a crazy front to back here. There's good frontliners to enable the supports to cast from the back line. But if your frontliners can't even get to the front and make it to those items that allow them to tank, it's gonna be a major problem. And that's what we see right now. Abed still very far away from even his Kaya, and he might just get hunted down in the jungle, no farming the very same spot. Ready to get that control. Oh. Stun finger of death. Abed is deceased on the Storm Spirit, and the supports are in no position to help him. And Mikoto, this is like. This is one of the best monkey games I've ever seen on such a large scale. This is the elimination game, ESL 1 Bangkok. Probably two of the best teams in this qualifier facing off against each other. He's playing against Abed, one of the well, most feared hero player combinations in the entirety of Dota. And he's popping off. Insane. Yeah. And this was blind as well, right? Abed had all the choices in the world for what he wanted mm. to bring into Mikoto's monkey. And he mm. chose this storm that he's so famous on, yet to really find the tempo. We haven't really talked about this man on our screen right here. WS on the bristleback, just quietly farming up quite a bit of a storm. Sure, he's slightly behind his other calls, but it's still kind of insane. And he's gapping his counterpart by a full 1k. He's going to get that axe real soon in just about 800 gold. And suddenly, solo kills on the Bristleback, you bring the Naga, you bring the Lion, it's gonna be easy. Yup, like, this Bristle is, uh, he's popping off, he's, he's, he's kind of like, slowly farming, because he never, like, uh, he's not slowly farming, but he never really left, left his lane, right? He was just yeah. chilling at this lane, he's like, guys, I'm gonna farm my eggs, I will not leave my lane. But it actually happened that just his teammates connected to him. They had a big fight, killed three or four people. He's just back to farming on this lane, right? He's, he's not even really going back for the Ancients. He's just chilling, hitting those lane creeps, hitting those uh, those normal camps. And he will hit the Aghanims, which will enable him to go ham. Like, yeah, I think there's something to be said yet, as well already for W. Ahead. Like, the thing is, WS, you, you might think, okay, it's not as efficient for him to be farming the lane creeps and whatnot. But you'd be wrong because WS existing over here stops Melody from pushing up, continues to push the creep wave in, gives them information and opens up their map by such a big margin. And if you look back at the triangle, Yokum has stacked like what? Four stacks of Ancients ready for him to yep. farm anytime he wants to go back there. So right. I think they're just really maximizing their use of the map, which is nice to see from Talon. It's a completely different look from that game number one and they're not done yet. A three-man smoke up looking for some targets. Yeah. This is go time. Sleep is ready. There's a counter go though. Look at Snapfire. Q, he did a good job, but he got his level. Oh, oh Akashi is deep. They see him. Oh, Shadow Fiend with the Shadow Melody Blade. Dies. Early pickup, getting the kill on oh. Melody. They are so deep, but the damage can't threaten them. It's Abed alone and he can't get it done. The kill jabs as well. And Cuckoo dropping very low to TA2000, but the song can bail them out. Are they still looking for a setup That's or will cool. they TP out? Looks like it's an escape for them. Mikoto's slightly off the mark with the jump, but everybody bails themselves out. They get the Beastmaster, and they get the Tinker. Damn, they even stole the Wisdom Rune. They got the big kills, they stole the Wisdom Rune, and this is this is about your Shadow Blade, right? Yikes. This is... Um, usually, these Shadow Fiends don't go for the Shadow Blade, right? Because it's a high-risk play, you don't have the BKD, you don't have the additional HP of the Sanction Yasha or something, you just have raw damage, attack speed, and the invis, but it works out here beautifully. He scouts the Tinker, they find the Tinker, and then they can even get the core kills on top of that. And then they get out with the, like, damn. That's kind of one of the problems, right? Because if you look at the side of Aurora, the supports don't offer much control. Q has a follow-up stun, but that's about it. You're really relying on Abed to be the one jumping in first with the Vortex. Or your Dragonite or the Beastmaster to get their blinks, but they're nowhere near those items. In fact, the Dragonite's still looking at the same build-up of the SNY, and the Beastmaster isn't even done with his eggs. That's how hard of a game Jabs has been having. I thought that of all people, Jabs might be the one to make this Beastmaster look good. We were hoping that he would pop off, but, you know, it's uh, it's uh, more than a you little bit rough. Him. You jinxed him. You jinxed Me? him. I was saying he's popping off and you were like, well, wait for uh, wait for the mid game. And it's like, he just, <laughs> he just keeps on beating. I think then. we can share responsibility, okay? You were gassing him okay, up okay, before okay. his time. Okay, so we'll, okay we'll, we'll I was gassing him up too much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We got to write an apology letter to Jabs after okay, this game okay. if he does end okay, up losing. Okay, okay. 2 to 13, not looking yeah. the best. 
for Aurora in this game number two after a dominant game one performance. A 5k gold lead on Talon, very rightfully earned. Regen on the Storm, that could be something. In the mid lane. Hex up onto Arbet though. And the Aghanim's complete on WS means that he's running in, threatening the spots. They will kill the Naga, Kuku goes down to start. And Jad is connecting on the fight, but he's already killed off both supports. WS with the Aghanim's pick up the Requiem, scaring away everybody. It's perfect. Finger of death, finishing them off. And oh no, TA2000, not the fight That's participation that you wanted. They're chasing more for Jabs. He can't get away from the goo and ultra rampage? kill. No, I don't no, no, think no, he no. can get the rampage because of the regen rune, but yeah. man, if it wasn't for the rune, he'd be close. They still want to keep chasing on. But no, a bit too deep. They know that they can't catch up to Abe. What a dominant Aghanim's reveal from the Bristleback. Dude, that Bristle. He slapped them. And then this Shadow Fiend, his invis has not been countered once again. They tried to burst. WS with the roar, but they didn't see the Shadow Fiend pumping up that ult, which well, just saved the bristle and enabled them to kill them all. Like that's that's a big mistake to not see the Shadow Fiend pumping up the Requiem two fights in a row. Like uh, that shouldn't happen normally. Somehow the pressure talent applies to Aurora is so high that they cannot properly set up their vision game anymore. Yeah, it kind of feels like they're tunnel visioning as well, right? Because there's so much going on. Both your supports just, you know, got killed by a single bristleback and you're feeling pressure. You're like, oh, you know, your supports are saying, oh, where's everybody? Come help. The bristleback's killing us. So you're just locked in on the bristle. You completely miss the SF on the high ground. It's just, it feels like Talon are playing on top of their game right oh, now. Look at this. Taking Maladish. a bit of revenge from Maladich. Yeah, he'll just go down Mikoto. They didn't have the finger of death, but they didn't even no. need it. Chasing TA2000 hey. now. Nice boundless strike. Whips out so much of his HP. My goodness. So much for the Dragonite being tanky. Didn't look like it. Mikoto with another double kill. Talon looking spectacular. I don't know. This Mikoto Monkey King was insane. Like, I'm saying was, but he is. Of course, the game is still going. It's still insane. But just this, this pressure he's applied. Kind of solo. I mean, of course, the supports were kind of helping him as well, right? The lion is playing together with him. Still, overall, the pressure is. Whew. Jabs is. Uh, he's been stuck in this sort of section of the map trying to recovery farm up now. Things obviously not looking the best for Aurora. What is the pivot strategy? Because I feel like Talon, they are one or two fights away from just heading into the Roche Pit, getting the Aegis, finishing off the Tier 2s, and I don't see a scenario where Aurora can actually take a team fight. It truly is hard for Aurora to fight. They have to bait them in insanely hard. Like into multiple layers of March, maybe. And like Snapper needs to get a perfect ult off. But I, I, I don't know, personally, their damage is just not there because they don't have the items, right? The DK even went for the Blink Dagger for this mid lane fight, which means another 2k not spent on damage, right? He's eyeing up the SNY, but probably felt pressure to try and contribute to his team. He understood that they were falling behind. Look at this Roche just absolutely melt the physical damage from the talent lineup. Explosive at this point. Get easy ages for WS leading the charge now. These tier 2 towers gonna fall real quick and soon and Aurora, I don't know how many side lanes you can try and push out by yourself. I guess the upside is that the Storm, the only person he's really scared about maybe is the mm. Lion. Yeah. Apart from that, the cores don't really threaten you by themselves, right? So And the Lion exactly. doesn't have a blink. So as long yep. as you play away from the side lines of, of the lane and just make sure you can zip out, it should be okay. Yeah. I mean, one problem could be the Naga, right? She can sleep you and then net you. But yeah, usually Lion is the number one candidate to pressure. Oh, by the way, there's smoke going. Yeah, the, I mean, Mikoto, Mikoto in the tree line just breaks it though. It's so easy. Hey, uh, th where, this guy's everywhere with this monkey. Like yeah. killing people, breaking smokes, initiating, oh. killing. Oh dear, they need to evacuate right now. Oh. WS is running right at them. They know the Tormenta has been taken, but Maladich able to TP out and TA2000 just needs to make it past the Defender's Gate. He's dropping very low, but he'll be fine. Uh, very deep. That's uh, very, very slightly scary. crazy. Take it out. Take it out. No problem. Yeah, they also get the Aghanim shot on the Tinker, which is Warp Flare. Does that sort of change anything in this game, you think? 
I mean, the root is always nice. It's also some damage. It's also the reposition ability. If he gets to higher levels of rearm, he will be able to control the bristle and of course the monkey as well. So yeah, eventually it will have a big impact. Level 1 rearm? Probably not. He needs at least a level 2 rearm just because of the time it takes to pump them out, right? But it's a good shard. It's, like, it's a decent shard. It's, it's middle of the pack, I would say. It's not great, but it's not useless either, like Bat Rider or Pogna, for example. You can see Talon not missing a beat. They're continuing to just occupy the Radiant Triangle and not give Aurora any room for work. I like that Abed is farming alongside Q on these side lanes because he knows that he might just need some additional insurance to bail him out if one of his bots does come for him. Yeah, no, definitely. They still do know how to play the game. Melich actually has the level 2 rearm now. So. That's a big oh, move. Mikoto. Oh no. I, oh, oh, cuts oh, down the tree. Wait, step Abed, priority? Very no, smart, but no, the question no. is whether they can find more. They just TP out. They're not going to try for it. Raw the D. Oh, the, the SF. Cuckoo's there with the save, though. Four stuff away in Shadowblade. They have a sentry scouting him, but this is way too deep yeah, for Jets yeah. all alone. Pulled uh, back into the clutches of the Wukong's command. It was a good try from Aurora to capitalize on the split map. But unfortunately, Talon just a bit too quick to respond, and now Q gonna get quilt down by WS as well. Talon's doing it to him. Huh? Yeah, Talon's looking amazing. I mean, we wanted a game number three between these two teams. Yep. The first game was kind of making us a bit worried because Aurora were looking sharp and looking ready to just move on, but Talon they dragged them back down. Very dominant game. One kill away from the magic number here. Oh yeah, I just wanted to say. Yeah, I just wanted to say. <laughs> Yo, JM, Don't we for real have the same score. brain. Like, actually the same yeah. brain. It's time. It's time. Who, who's the one making yeah, who's the gonna give it up? Who's gonna give it up? We'll, we'll have to keep our eyes out. Uh, I think maybe Melody? Maybe Melody? Maybe Melody? I don't know. Maybe Melody? Melody's at rough Melody. Zero, 7 and 1 on the Tinker, man. Zero seven one, dude. I haven't even, <laughs> I haven't even looked at his stat line. Dude, the kill, okay. <laughs> the stat lines are rough. You got zero four zero on Japs, yeah. zero three and two on TA two thousand, and Q has died five times. With like, they, they just straight up the only person who has gotten any kills is Abed. Bad two two. Dude, it's actually fine. It's like not my mistake, guys. Yeah, I'm playing Storm. Don't don't blame yeah. me. Radiance yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, look at this. Okay, let's speed. look at the items on yep. Aurora. Uh, mm -hmm. Key items, Sanj and Yasha completed on the Dragonite yeah. and the BKB, one yeah. component away from Abe. I feel like that yeah. might be something they can work with. For sure, actually, I do agree. Meladich also just finished the Solar Crest, so yeah. the Dragon Output, uh, Dragon Output, yeah, the Dragon Output from uh, from TA to K <laughs> is a lot higher. Like his Absolutely. Dragons per second DPS <laughs> is a lot higher now. The Sanj and Yasha, the Solar Crest, a lot of Dragons per second. Look at this, oh, Tomiko. Jeps. Jabs, get out! Jabs, you need oh. to cut the tree! No! Oh, he's trying, gonna try and roll, but he already got rooted. Okay. Melody's gonna try and come in and capitalize. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That, was commanding, some though. Grief. that was some grief! Uh, that whoa. was some grief! That was some grief! Dude, he, he straight up grief! <laughs> and he also did the 3 to 2. No, actually, Jabs did the 3 to 2. Damn. But Melody did the literally 3 to 2. What, what kind of warp flare was that? He just warp flared him away from from his Dude. beast master. They were about to get the kill. Dude, he was out of vision. The boards couldn't hit anymore. The beast couldn't hit anymore. Man, what? Ma oh, that's some no. straight up man, and that's a straight up two to two. Like that's no coincidence. No, that's no coincidence. Melody, no. We were just gassing him up last game as well. We were so impressed with his performances. But in these high pressure situations, I think when you finally get your juicy hands on a nice little bite of something, that's where the pressure's the highest. And talent now on the high ground, no Beastmaster, no Raw. They will respect the respawns. Back up for now, but it yeah. just continues looking bad to worse. 12k gold lead at the 25 minute mark. Talon is looking, am they they don't need to be scared of anything, really. Dude. Let's see, let's see. I mean, game's still not over. It's only a 12k lead, right? They can delay this game, right? Anyone who has ever played against the Tinker spamming March of the Machines knows this game is not over yet. Um, 
you know, they still, they can still delay for like maybe 10 more minutes, 20 more minutes, 30 more minutes. In minute seven, they'll come, uh, 70, they'll come online. Right? Uh, yeah. yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Um, yeah, 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 Aurora, they're on the road to <laughs> Road to recovery, hashtag. Road to recovery, yeah. hashtag, road to recovery. hashtag uh, zero. <laughs> I wonder what their odds are, not gonna lie. Um, I, I, no, no, we, like, can, we can see them, we can see them. Um, let's like check. I would say much? like 20%. Yeah. <laughs> okay, 3%. They're not believing the comeback. I think they actually have no. Twenty percent is very different okay. from three percent. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, bro, I think they can okay. win this. Okay. I mean, maybe you, not you, twenty. You maybe, think, okay. maybe ten. Let's say ten. Ten. I would give them ten. Okay. I mean, honestly, all Aurora need to do is make sure that some of the moves that they make outside of the base are a bit well connected. Like, can you imagine if they killed Mikoto there? That would be such a huge kill. Yep. Definitely. Like one, like if you also look into it, Mikoto, like he's rich, but somehow his inventory doesn't look that strong. I don't know why, but he can still die, right? I mean, of course, the Bristol is absolute big boss, but look at this inventory from Mikoto. Like it doesn't look that strong. An exchange in Yasha, Glebnir, two Wraith Bands, Treads, yeah, I, I mean, I guess so, but in comparison killable. to what Aurora have, it's like... Yeah, yeah I, true, I know I what you mean, though. I think cool. the point you're trying to make is that if all five heroes collapse on him, <laughs> do damage, they can definitely kill no, him. No! Uh, they don't even need five! Two okay, is enough! Can... If you don't okay. warp flare him out of the <laughs> out of the Beastmaster's <laughs> attack range... True, like, true. You know? oh, trying to deward alone. Uh-oh. Yoakum yep, stepping up a bit too far. No that's respect. On to jabs. The drums are beating. The sound of a comeback. Is that oh, what Melody. we hear, Melody? Oh. No, it's... Uh, what, like the sound flare? of a Tinker going down, nice walk flare. Cuckoo? Cuckoo oh. sleeping. Oh, cu boss Cuckoo! Boss Cuckoo, what's up? Okay, they're they getting find the Jabs, though. Beast That's least. way bigger. That's way bigger. Uh -huh. yeah. Boss Cuckoo sparing Melody. He knows Melody has a hard game anyways. He yeah. is a merciful god. He's like, come yeah. on, bro. We killed you enough already. You can live. The K in Cuckoo stands for kindness. That's what he's known for, oh. actually. Uh, TA2000. Oh, is okay, that the direction? direction you wanted to go oh, in? You'll no. eat a Requiem, you'll eat right clicks, and you'll eat your death. Oh, no no buyback on the DK. Well. What in the heck was that cookie? Bad got so low killed. Oh, bad got also yikes. so low killed on top. Mikoro, okay, I guess he's just a god. Yeah. He doesn't need BKB. He's just easy peasy. Yeah, I guess that was just like a... Maybe Storm was already a bit half HP, three quarters HP. Then Mikoto comes out with Glatnir, catches him off guard. And no buyback on the Storm for 25 seconds, so this will be at least two lanes of racks. Yeah. This is the SF. This hero pushes your base, he gets a few kills. It's the minus armor on the buildings that just amplifies their damage output tenfold. The movement from Talon this game was just amazing, I feel like, from the early stage to. To even now, like uh, how how they're sort of rotating around the map, the numbers that they bring, Ooh. their understanding of what what heroes need to be doing, what at any given moment, they're just playing off this mid monkey king perfectly. Yeah. Now the buyback on Maladich, they want to this. defend this no. last lane it's of Rex. Like, it's too yeah, late. It's too late. Look at this. They're gonna mega it up. How many, ro F how many robots do you need? Like, I'm gonna jump in. Raw on Akashi. He doesn't have a second life or any save, they won't let him keep him confused. The song though, helping him out, and Abed just has to try and escape. WS doing way too much damage, and everyone on Aurora has control. They'll get beat oh, down in the Wukong's command. TA2000 brought back into his grave, and GG Ooh. is called. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be going to a game number three between Aurora and Talon. And I think if you're a Southeast Asia Dota fan, you couldn't ask for anything better. Dude, it's insane. Two storms, back to back. And now, yeah. we have a game three. Holy smokes. Honestly, Mikoro on his monkey. I don't think there is any other player, any other hero. Not gonna lie. Yeah. First two games, quite 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 one-sided. This does look solid overall. Um a lot of pressure on Abed though, in my opinion, to initiate these mid-game fights. Of course, in early game, you don't really need Abed to make the gate plays, but come mid-game, it's really an Abed, right? The Terror Blade and the Luna both. Um, high range cores that can right click mostly, but can't really start the fight, right? Yeah, I. This is one of the concerns that we had in the last game for Talon in particular for Mikoto, but it turns out not to be the case and not to be a worry because Mikoto can do it all. So maybe Abed, maybe Q, these guys can turn it on here and bring Aurora the distance. 
If I'm not wrong, the other stream, Kukui's lost 2-0 to Boom. So whoever wins in this lower bracket semifinals will be facing Team Kukui's. Talon definitely wants some revenge from the slightly... I, I, you know what? I'll say it. Slightly embarrassing loss yesterday, right? They were super yes. ahead in game number one. They proceeded to get stomped in game number two. They want to get their lick back. And Aurora, of course, still looking to try and re-establish themselves with this additional melody. I'm back. Power rune. Uh, power rune. Whiz for gold runes are going to happen. First D ward for Melody. Easy money and easy XP for him. Let's see what happens on top. Cuckoo is zoning the Terror Blade. That's three runes for Talon. That's a juicy one. But it's an Observer okay. on the edge. So it's kind of 50-50, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it's... Uh, I don't think it amounts to any bit of gold that makes a crazy difference in this laning stage. Nah. And speaking of this laning stage... Let's have a look at the matchups, right? Do we have any in particular that we're worried about? Because I'm looking at this Ogre SF. Kind of scary. They have a decent amount of magic damage the second Cuckoo hits level 2. Yep. Level 2 timing is going to be a thing. Level 3 with the level 2 races is also going to be scary. On the other hand, um, the Aurora offlane also has good level 2 timing with the meta, with the, with the two spells from Hoodwink, with the reflection. Uh, mid lane is probably going to be a wash. I don't see too much happening there. Maybe, um, no, that's a wash. And bot lane, bot lane is actually uh, super duper aggressive. Better up yeah. plus Dawn can kill the end nice. and also the Luna. It also depends on which creeps Melody is gonna be able to get. Oh, top lane, the SF, he's dropping low and they actually get Wait, first what? blood. Pop. Holy, Wait, what? I Killed him on level one? And they didn't even really have anything to lock him down, right? He just kind of got right-clicked down by the Metamorphosis as well as the Acorn shots. No way. Way too much physical no pressure coming in for the SF to deal with. That is pretty impressive stuff from the Aurora offlane. Maybe the mental pressure is getting to him. Dude, holy smokes. Okay, okay. Didn't expect that. Maybe he also didn't expect it, right? Level 1 meta is quite non-standard. Usually it's Reflection. That's kind of crazy. I mean, we've seen a little bit of a mix-up, you know, some offlane Terrorblades go for the meta just to be able to secure. I think previously when WS was playing up against the TA of Castaway, mm -hmm. he also went Metamorphosis first just to be able to secure some of these early last hits. But yeah, Cuckoo level 2 now means that that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Mikoto dropping this low in the mid lane. Uh oh, our bet. Slapping down the park, but narrowly surviving. Dude, that was close actually. What the hell? A lot of fighting and a lot of brawling going on. Yeah, I, I mean, these two players, they've been playing the mid lane for a very long time, veterans in the scene, and they will try and juice every little bit of an advantage that they can. The one upside that Mikoto has against the Earth Spirit is that these boulder smashes are going to be extremely telegraphed, right? So it should be easy for mm. him to just jaunt out of them. Yeah, 100%. Interesting, he needs more mana here, he even buys a clarity. Um, but yeah, Puck, absolutely fine. Yes, absolutely fine. Um, man, this face shift, man, it, it's Yeah, the so Puckish, especially the innate, yeah, like yeah, the yeah. fact that he's getting like just regen from it as well. Yeah, yeah. As if the water rune wasn't enough. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. This hero just has infinite resources, it seems. And those matchups that were hard before, even they are kind of playable uh, like decently playable right now because you can also abuse on the tower right i don't know yeah it's nasty whoa 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 we could have trying to dodge the the boulder smash i guess but abit is, is quite good in this like he's, he's forcing the spells not using his boulder smash holding him having patience yeah. just pump faking a little bit it's like when you play soccer and someone pretends to kick the ball in your face you get a little bit scared you just back up a bit no. top lane a bit of aggression here mm. as Jets popping the metamorphosis Maybe. again. Yeah, getting low. Holy. And no continued slow, so he'll be able to walk this one off. Oh, the pressure is there. Overall, he has decent here, so. Nice oh. denied. Hard camp is up. That's always a good sign for the offlane, right? It's the normal battle of the plus 5 and the plus 4. Oh. Abed against Mikoro. 
Dang. Taking quite a bit of damage on the puck though, I've been able to punish him for committing for that water rune take. Honestly, I'm quite surprised that Yokum and WS in the bot lane haven't really been able to find the Luna just yet. But I guess that just means Maladich is doing a pretty good job in terms of keeping them back. Oh. Silence. It'll be fine. Man, it's so hard to pressure the, the puck with this new innate. I wonder how much mana and how much HP an average puck gets on the laning stage. Look at this. He's again abusing in the tower, just pressing this phase shift, getting like two procs of the innate, right? It's, yeah. I don't know, this is uh, unethical. Look at this again. Bam, he's going in the tower. Bam. Yeah, more, even more res. In six seconds, yeah. it's gonna be the same again. I think not, the crazy part also nice. about this innate is that it scales, right? Because there's a percentage yes, component to it. Exactly. So it's like the lane is nifty and then later on in the game, every auto attack you dodge, you're kind of like sustaining in the fight naturally. No, this is nasty for sure. And the pucks, they're getting even better at this as Ooh. time goes on. Twin gate rotation. This is what you're asking about, yeah. but they got scanned mm -hmm. out. And take yeah. a look at that ward placed early on there. from Cuckoo. Yeah. Master Cuckoo knows exactly what Boss Maladich Cuckoo. wants to do, but yep. he's still going to run up into the centaur. Where's the rest He's of the Aurora offlane? Like... They can't really connect okay. at the moment. The slow, the bushwhack, they'll kill the ogre, it looks like. So a successful okay. move, even though they kind of knew what was going on. Maybe just trying to buy space for the SF to retreat, I guess. Uh, I'm not 100% about that move. Uh, but okay. I was like, surely he knows that Ench is still there, right? Or maybe he assumed that Ench is not there anymore, right? Because he hit in the yeah. trees. He was like, oh yeah, no way that guy is still here, right? But now the tower yeah. is gone. This is a big move. Yeah, the fact that they're getting this tower this early on just further exposes the SF to more pressure. Mid lane using the coil, but Abed a bit too tanky. Nice infused raindrops pick up. Allows him to tank through that damage. And I mean, hey, he even had a fairy fire and a 18 charge one. He's completely yeah. fine. Completely fine. Look at this. The first gate move, opening up the tower, getting a kill. Wild Talon, I mean. Boss Cuckoo, he TP'd middle, he refilled the bottle, but they weren't able to kill the ES. Joke him dead actually though. He was kind of deep, got punished. He's trying to mess with Abed in the, no. in the sort of two camps in the jungle right no. next to the tier 1, but Wait, unfortunately... Wait, did, did he just use ult to farm that? I think he just used ult, right? Or yeah, yeah, magnetize right on the oh. ES. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure he used the, the magnetize to kill the bat. Yeah, and then he farmed that big camp. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah. Wisdom rune time. Better is gonna take it. On the other hand, Radiance no one really is in position to take it. Attack. But it's gonna be taken eventually. Yeah, very cute play from Melodich. He actually yeah. sends in the golems to try and mess with the bat, forcing out a flame break from Yokum just to be able to secure that rune and just a bit more harass with the little rocks being thrown. Look at look at these yeah. little guys there. Hop, yeah. hop, 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 hop. They're throwing rocks. They're like <laughs> No, but it's, it's it's a genius play actually because um, if you actually do it perfectly well on Eng, you can yeah. take a new creep, so the rock golem breaks down, you know, and then you can stun yeah. with one rock golem and the other denies the rune. But that's like it's not yeah. easy to execute. That's the that's the giga brain play, right? Like yeah. just everything time to perfection. I'm sure Maladich has the skills to pull that off, but unfortunately wasn't the case there. A bit of a quieter early game than we expected, at least for the talent side. I mean, I thought that Mikoto would run around a bit more with the Bat Rider. Mm. Maybe try and connect with WS early on mm. to get some action Power going. Rune. Roll Bosku. up to the high ground. Bosku is the one to be found here. There's a call available for Mikoto. He should be able to pressure this Terrorblade who doesn't have a Sunder just yet, but doesn't want to tempt fate, who still will oh, get whoa, slowed whoa. down. Mikoto, he'll be fine because they don't want to commit any deeper. They're not sure where the rest of the talent heroes are. But meanwhile, Jab's being run down by Yokum. Very fast on this bat rider. He's able to grab the rune and try and punish. You got him. Oh, Abed just able to punish him. Very nicely done from the Earth Spirit so far. Strong punishment coming through. And they might even get some pressure on the mid tower. Look at this. Mikoto shoot. Whoa! Oh! The magnetized though. He's going for the roll, but he doesn't connect on his own remnant. He places it a bit too far to reprop the ultimate. But it's not gonna allow him to travel the distance. They still find Kuku again though. So it's been the talent supports basically running at them, trying their best to make things happen. This time it's them who seem a bit confused, but now TA2000 under some threat. The TP and jabs to try and help. Asunder available, saves his carry. What a play from the offlaner. 
That was like a nice. that's like a LD wow moment. But yeah, I mean, still that's really a nice. Wow. I mean, the idea of doing this as a TB, I, I, it's just the awareness, right? I think a lot of offlaners wouldn't have thought of that. But he's like, yep, I can thunder to, to heal. Um, I gotta point out the support's impact though. Q has his ultimate already, right? I think he got level yeah. 6 at minute 8 or something, right? He already used it once. Um, that's insane, especially if you compare it to last game, right? But the Tinker had kind of a slow game, and, this, and mm -hmm. the Snapfire also had a giga slow game, right? He didn't have his yeah, ulti up until minute 11 or something, right? Koto on middle. He is fine, but Abed actually is the king of network, right? He got two kills, two assists. Higuchi, Higuchi. Going with a blade mail build. Power rune going to Nikoto once Nikoto. again. I think yeah. Abed hasn't gotten a single rune, right? Nikoto has gotten two or even three runes. I'm not sure about the, the last rune, the minute eight rune. It was denied or picked up. Yeah. A smoke move out from Talon. They are looking for jabs up here in this top lane with Kuku and Mikoto. This is what we were hoping Radiance for. We wanted moves early on Tadaya from the park. Mm. Haven't come to fruition just yet. Go just a little bit deeper into the triangle, Dyer's set up with Ward. Has no one to be found. Aurora on high alert. They know something's amiss. We've seen the puck on the wave just a bit. Malady will be the one showing themselves on the front line. But again, oh. Yoakum still at that level 4. He can't even lasso even if he tries. Yeah. Honestly, the sub diff is big in this game, right? Last game it was completely opposite. And now it's. I don't know, Melody on Tinker, you're borderline griefing, right? I mean, come on, bro. Uh, but this game on Eng, like, he's, he's carrying the logs and the boats. Yeah, he's putting it all together, creating the... He's building the art all by himself, him and his little centaur pushing the tower. Yep. WS doesn't even feel confident enough to threaten him. Yep. That's crazy. Look at this, he's linking up with the siege creep as well, maximizing the damage output. It's, uh, that's some crisp gameplay. It makes sense yeah. to ban the Nyx on 7 and pick the 8 Eng. This is also going to be something, if Aurora win this one, that the enemies have to look out for. Uh, the first yeah. pick Eng, you need an answer for it. Oh, it's a bit of a move in the bot lane, but they're a bit too late. WS, TP out, he needs to roll. Okay. Wow. Uh, very close, very, very close. Yeah. I mean, Abed, he had the correct read, was just a bit slow. Right? Look at this tower. Melody is just solo taking the tower. He's like, yep, I take creep, I send to tower. I send creep, I send to tower. And Yeah, Melody yeah. has just been T-posing in this bot lane and no one has dared to challenge him. Talon. Oh, they'll spot out a huge stack on Q. Mm -hmm. Question is whether Talon can push them out of the triangle. This is a very natural move in. Still no lasso. Still no mm -hmm. ultimate for the Batrider. Dude, and no one this. can really farm this stack for now. This is awkward. As heck, oh, Dawnbreaker, they Aurora, get him. Aurora, the kickback right wow. into the clutches wow. of Aurora. The hammer, the Damn. distance is long, but it can't bring her all the way out. And would oh. you look at that? What a lovingly prepared stack for oh me. Oh my TA goodness, no way if they steal this. The economic damage is immense. Batrider relied on this stack to get his blink dagger and his level 6 timing, right? It's not happening anymore. It is so oh far away from my happening. goodness, Q. boss oh, they Q, find no. Kuku. No, he was just trying to set some EXP, but a little bit of a aggressive, over-aggressive play, thinking that they wouldn't have vision there. He gets caught. On top of the net worth, this Luna now, TA2000, very, very happy. Everything is going Aurora's way. This early game has been stellar, and I mean, these two teams have been taking turns back and forth to just dumpster each other. This is looking true. so one-sided again. Yeah, truly, I, I, I think Kuku is getting a demotion. He's not the boss Kuku anymore, he's uh, intern Kuku. He's, he's assistant, <laughs> assistant manager Kuku. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Melody on his end. It looks so serene, he's just chilling. He's sitting there, having his, his uh, skelly bros, farming the enemy ancients casually, minute 13. And look at this, look at this. Wisdom rune. Minute 14. If they're able to steal that away, I don't know how they come back. But Batrider, at least he got the 6, right? He got the 6. Yeah. 13 minute level 6 on the Batrider. That's yeah. got to be a rough one for Yoakum. Mm -hmm. He's usually quite a decently consistent figure on the talent team, but not really finding his mark this time around. Another roll forward. How many of no these talent way. members are going to keep running up this cliff, man? No way in hell. 
the Eng close to her solar crest. And he's just farming the enemy's ancients. It's insane. I mean, what are you supposed to do? You gotta mm. bring, like, what? Mikoto to try and flush them out, but Mikoto's a little bit busy trying to scramble for whatever net worth he can find. The map that they have to play on on Talon is so small and so dark. It's wildly uncomfortable. The second you try and establish a bit more vision, bam, there goes an Earth Spirit rolling into your face. Now, Talon, they'll try and fight back, finally pushing the aggressors of Aurora outside. Yeah. For once, they can reclaim their triangle. Dude, it, it took a long time, though. And honestly, what's happening on the top lane, by the way? I feel like it's just two people AFK farming. Terrorblade SF yeah. have been farming the last 10 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> like, yeah. not attacking each other. But look at this, Luna's actually attacked. Okay, if they can get a coil, they find that initial jump, they bump her away and break the coil, but it actually helps her get more distance away from them. Not the coordination that you wanted, and now Melody is in the middle. Abed looking for a target, silencing up on the park. They've killed the bat and the park. Oh no, the quick response from Aurora. The Luna gets out unscathed and can continue farming peacefully. Oh my god, that bat rider flame break! I got flashbacks of that, uh, you know, the warp, flare? warp flare from Tinker. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly, Mike. Oh my uh, goodness, <laughs> this this cannot be a two-zero game, right? No way. Yeah, this is I, not gonna be a two-zero game, right? Uh, someone is gonna die eventually, right? Yeah, I look. Who will die? Who will die? I don't know. I mean, this Mikoto, Mikoto Park, they picked it in confidence. It hasn't really found much on the map yet. He's still struggling his way towards that Witchblade. Just needs 100 gold for it, and maybe they'll feel confident enough to start making these moves. But the healing and the tankiness of the Jabs, Terrorblade, and Abed Earth Spirit, those are very scary frontliners to run up into. You don't really have burst as well, don't you? I mean, Talon, how are you. Not really. How are you hoping to kill any of these heroes? The supports are not providing any damage. Okay, quick question. Have, yeah. have we seen a Dawnbreaker out? Like, am I tripping? I, I feel like the answer is no. I, 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 I don't remember like one. And the Dawnbreaker ha has actually gone for a bit more of a self-centric build in the armlet. So I think Talon, they understand just how far behind they are in this early game and they understand that the only way they win is if they try and extend this game and drag it out. Oh no, Mikoto spotted by the AWP. They'll roll up. Silence doesn't land though. Able to phase shift away. Still landing the sharpshooter. Needs more help. Dodging, but Abed right where they need him. Solar Guardian coming through. That's your Dawnbreaker out. Can they turn things around? The hammer landing onto two. Akashi winding up the ultimate with the Eclipse. Oh, the Lucent Beam stops him for now. That could have been huge, but the Lasso. They're starting to do it here on Talon. They lose the puck, but can they kill Abed? Not with the Shield Rune, not with the Magnetize. Too oh much damage, goodness. a triple kill. Abed, he's doing it. They're winding up the Requiem, but it's far too late now. Akashi retreats to the left. And oh, that was so close to being okay maybe for Talon. If Akashi could have wound up that Requiem and scared them all away. But he's going to show himself on the creep wave now. And it might just be a full team wipe. Abed has his number, finds his mark and slaps him down. This is a slow but painful death. Basically a complete team wipe of Talon. Aurora, they are all over it this game. 16-0. Dude, I got flashbacks to ESL 1 Frankfurt 2015. I don't know if you were around back then, but it was oh a LAN God. finals. I think it was IG against EG, if I remember correctly. It was the last game, grand finals. I think it was only BO3 because it was too late. They had to close down the venue, so they made the grand finals to game three, uh, like a best of three. And IG yeah. beat EG in the final game of the evening in like, uh, at like, 12 in the in the night or, or 11 30 in the night and it was 21 0. yikes yeah, it yeah was so we might be seeing a repeat of that soon and you know what i take i take back what i said because i was thinking look talon have an okay setup maybe they can bail mikoto out maybe they can requiem but uh yeah the tb has a completed pipe so that requiem isn't going to do any damage catch out onto the dawnbreaker has quite a bit more hp thanks to the armlet Toggling out back to safety, the silence. Nicely done from WS. Will just bullwhip himself out. And the Dawnbreaker somehow survives. Yeah. Unlucky. Tier 2000 strikes him down. 
Is that Lucy MD? Oh, Mikoto. Uh, oh. I'm just humble. I, I don't think that would have done anything, though. Nah. I think Mikoto would have lived regardless. Yeah. Especially the painful way. Yeah. Okay. Is he had nothing better? I mean, I don't even, I don't even think it matters at this point. <laughs> I mean, it's a 14k gold. It's 19 minutes in. These guys are struggling with a capital S. The Luna has 12k net worth right now. That's a lot, right? How how is dude? The Dawnbreaker and Puck have just had such poor games, man. It's true though. All this month. I don't know, that's just the aggression, right? It all began when Melody attacks the top lane with the early gate gang, right? It feels like from that moment on, the pressure was on. Yeah, I, I think last game they really bullied the hell out of Melody, and this game they gave him the first pick Ench, the pick that he's been dominating on completely. The Terrorblade pivot into the Luna as well, allowing them to just tempo up. But this game really feels like it's the Abed show and the Melody show, right? They're getting so much done, Akashi just goes down to... Yeah, that's just miserable. Yeah, the Tormentor get punished for it, two calls down. I... Look, I... No tier 3s are down just yet. I don't want to call it. But I just don't see... an angle. I mean, even if you lasso into the fountain... Like, do you even have the damage to kill them? That's the question. <laughs> yes, yes, then yes. But he doesn't have a force step, right? So he, he can't really move them into the pond, right? Yeah. This pipe also, it's so oppressive, right? They don't even the have puck any, is dead. Uh, this is, uh, the puck is dead. The puck is just dead. That's just an easy Atos. How did they and even kill anyone? They got the pipe, they got the Enchantress healing, they got the Sunder. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, Jabs is, the Jabs still has like 2k gold. He's still thinking about what he wants to buy next. To he buys further. mech, maybe. Maybe he's just yeah, buying buy, buy, At this point, buy Greaves. Or something. Who even cares? Sure. One last smoke out, potentially for Aurora. One final fight. Yeah. The backup. But their Dawnbreaker is already dead. Has a buyback. Mikoto might come in. They need that Puck's damage, but Abed's going to be rolling in. Can they afford to wait eight more seconds? Doesn't seem like it, but the Puck's still holding on to the buyback. They're able to retreat back to the fountain. Cuckoo, no! Magnetize crushes all of them. GG is called. And the buybacks oh, come out too late. Mikoto God. didn't want to press the button. And the only button they'll press is the enter to type GG because that's over for Talon. Aurora will continue on. Talon will not get a revenge match against Team Kukui's. It will be Aurora who move on to the